Hi friends, today we're going to do an activity using corn husks. And then some glue, some paint, a black marker, some egg carton and Q-tips. And of course some white paper. And I know this soon is going to be summer, you guys um, probably will get to do a lot of barbecues or you may have uh, done already a lot of barbecues and you may have eaten some corn in the cob. Well, if you do that again and you have uh, some corn in the cob and you help mommy in peeling them, make sure you save the husks because there's so many ways that you can have fun with them and do so many different kinds of activities that you would love. And one of the activities we're going to do today is going to be about having a collage and having some corn husks print on the paper. But what can you also do with this asks is building. You can create some maybe flowers, right? Flower shapes or a star shape. Or you can, you can use them into the water. You can see if they sink, if they float. It depends on whether you're putting them into the water, if they're light, if they're heavy, right? Maybe if you hold all of them, they're heavier than if you hold just one of them. If you can grab all of them with one hand, if you need two hands to grab them, there is so many things that you can do with them. And you can also use them in the water as a small, small um, kind of tunnels for the water to go through and see how fast the water can go down and how slow maybe the water can go down and use like maybe a few drops or a lot of more water. And, but today we're going to use them, as I say, in with paint. And the first thing that we're going to create, it will be a corn on the cob collage. We're going to start by using some mustard color paint and we're going to make some corn. Okay, you can use a Q-tip as brown prints on the paper, just like that. You can go on the paper fast, you can go on the paper slowly, right? Maybe one print at a time. You can use both colors, you can use one color at a time, or both colors together. It's up to you. And once you are done, you can put some glue around your corn, right? And this is also a cause and effect activity, not only fine motor when you squeeze. It's a cause and effect activity because depends on how much glue you put on each side, you will see if the husk will stick well or you may need more glue for the husk to stick well. So you will figure it out. And you can get one husk at a time and try to glue it on the paper, right? A little more. You can put the glue in drops or you can make lines with glue. And here it is, and the other side we may add a little bit more, right? You can cover the corn, right? Sometimes you find the corn in the cover that you cannot see the corn really until you peel it, everything. And here we go. You can kind of hide it a little bit. And here we go, we have the first corn in the cob, okay? And you can also trace or wait that everything is dry before you trace around, you can trace it, right, like, like this, you can trace this one too, you can go on top of the corn, make more lines, on top of the husk to make more lines, okay, just have fun with it. In the other one, we are going to make, maybe this time you can make some circles, right, and then call them up, one by one, or all at once, right, this is your pretending corn. This is making shapes too. You can call them up, right? There we go. There's another corner of the cob coming. You need more paint. You can go around and try to trace these circles. Look how different it looks. And then what you can do is you can get the asks, right? One at a time. Dip them into this green and creamy color paint, right? All the way around and you can start making the prints on the sides. Okay, one side, and you can get the other one. You can see that by mixing the two colors together, we may get a light green, 
or maybe the color one changed because we didn't put a lot of creamy color together with the green another cause and effect okay and you can also get the asks and smell them touch them feel them on your skin and here is another corn in the cup i hope you try them at home and have fun bye friends